Hello and welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. So we'll look on some plant editor before, but sometimes you want to modify, create your own plants. So in this tutorials, we'll look on a simpler way how you can modify and what options you can have with the plants. The first normal what I to do, I go in trees or plants or other and I go through all species and see which one is more fit what I want to do because you can modify those plants but you cannot really create total unique species but it's nice things about this if you're going on Carnacopia and I do recommend look more on official plants because uh, those are the unique species most what you see vendors send it's this modifications of already existing plants and I'm speaking about ecosystem plants not uh, static plants that may provide from X frog or other ones so an example, we'll go take plant and you know what, let's take a plum tree because everyone will have it, it's default. So we'll go create the tree right there. Okay, and I want to create something unique from this. You can find a lot of different applications which help you to do this. And I'm using one, I'll show you in a second, which help me to create the bark and leave material. Notice how leave material going and let's have it right on the middle is the reason why because first let's analyze we have it normal texture and right here if we look on a plant let's have the alpha map okay let's actually click to edit you notice right here in the middle we have a point so this is where they kind of interconnect so when we start making our leaves we want to be sure they connect on the middle Okay, I'm going to use it in Photoshop and I'm going to use the leaf or bark and before I used actually Filter Forge. Filter Forge is an application you can download at free 30 days trial. All filters is free and you find a lot of from Giga Play. I create a lot of different filters that you can use it. The one I will use a bark. Okay, and this is I created so we can have a tree bark different so I will use this one for our tree bark and I'll be sure save as the image and also we want to save as a bump map for the bark. Um, if you needed more details on the filter forge how to use we have a tutorials available free to watch online so you can go and view how to use but normally it will be straightforward just create material create it texture and use it and the same you saw um, when we used another leaf. So we'll just use it some of this leaf right here. Okay, this is alpha map and let me this is normal leaf, it's what we're going to use. Okay, what I'm done, it's in Photoshop. I created the image, it's 1024 by 1024 for our leaves. As well, right here I have some leaves created. And remember I show it was in the middle. So I'm creating rotating I won't do that very fancy I want to do just to place few leaves right here in the corners with probably point right here that will be interconnect okay we'll duplicate this one And this is very simple kind of trees. And I'm going to create new layer. Take our picker. Select the color right here. And just simply draw kind of lines right here. connection. If you want to be fancy you can also add some details. You can be as fancy as you want it. Have fun, some fun time with this. Okay now when it's done I'll disable back. So what I want to do I want to save this image with transparency and I'm going to save as PNG. So I'm going to save for web 
and I will be sure it's PNG because I want transparency. Okay, and I'm just going separate here. Oops. Okay, now we can go inside the view. And let's modify. So we'll go to edit the object. Okay, first I want to modify the bark. And right here is a bark is created from the um, procedural. So I'm going to switch to map because I want to use the image. And I'm going to open and load it our image. Okay, right here I have a bark created. So preloaded this one. We'll go inside the bump. And currently it is again the function. So I will reset it. I'll add right here. We'll add another image. And I'll go to preload pump map for this. Grayscale, click OK. okay so right here we have our pump map, maybe a couple things, you know, if you want to add, modify a little bit more with what kind of textures you wanted. Um, some maybe effect, make it a little bit brighter modification, but right here we already modify our bark. So let's go modify leaves and for this one, same. I'm just going to preload the leaves that were created. And it's ask if I want to use transparency, yes. And right here I'll set my point on the middle. Click OK. You can notice right here we replaced, we're creating already our new. Let's check other options what we have. It. We have a link on the leaves. Currently it's default. We can increase, make them longer or shorter as well as a width. And for that, I'm just leaving a zero. Randomizing, it's, if you notice, they're not straight, they're kind of a bending. So randomization help us to create these different type sizes, kind of skew, distort them, so they look a little bit more random. Flexibility, okay, there's going up leaves, there's going down. So how flexible, I'm just going maybe one. And as well, we have a curl set. Okay, let's look. Maybe, you know, around seven, somewhere like this. So right here, we have our leaves kind of preset. Okay, next, um, we can modify overall color. And this is fastest way to do if I want to have a little bit more yellowish fall. I apply it so it's well overall you can modify it, but I will leave it reset to default. Okay, now let's look on our trunk. Right here we have a base and we have a trunk. So I'm going to select trunk top and we'll go to modify this. I want to add a little bit more growl and maybe a little bit more drop angle. So we'll see kind of twisted trees. Hmm, maybe I don't like it, you know, maybe we should set and drop a little bit this way and tree going a little bit straight. This will look a little bit more toned to the sleeves, but again, it's depend how you like to create it. And I'll just make a little bit smaller. Notice right here we work on the top, so we don't use this trunk or well, the bottom one. We are only applying to the top. So we'll go right here. Now let me see how the growl will. Yeah, this is kind of interesting twist at it. So maybe leave it this way. Let's also increase link. Okay, now I'm going to base. And let's see on a base what we can do. We can drop kind of effect, you know, maybe just a little bit. Same matching diameter. Look if uh, roots again remember this is all going to ground so I'm just checking fall out right here and you know what it doesn't look very good so I'm going to just combine them together just leave it like this okay and when we're done creating this tree what we want to do we want to save this as species so we can reuse it okay I'm going to click on save species and I'm going to inside the plant and say um, first plant. You can name how you like it. Okay, also you notice right here we have a description. From 
you can put it wherever you like it. I just sometimes put description. It's nice if you put description on this plan. For example, this is fictional. We can write this is fictional plan, not exist, and where you want to use it. Okay, when we're done, we'll click save. It's generating. You can see with preview our plan. We'll click OK. Next thing is what I like to do. Actually, I want to save this plan. I don't delete it because I may need to come back. But I'm going to create a simple plane right here. We'll go to Add Ecosystem. And we'll go to Load it Our Tree. And because it's not yet in collection, I want to browse to load this. If you save in your collection, it will appear this plan. Let's go select this plan, click OK. It's take a few seconds till it's loaded. The one thing to kind of know, this plant, it is open so anybody can use it. If you purchase plant specifically from Carnacopia and you modify on this and you give it to somebody, because it's based on um, plant purchase it, it's meaning those people need purchase even you already modified, so it's kind of neat you know, stuff. So you notice right here we populated, and you know what? Let me go and um, maybe increase density, reduce scaling, so we have it more of those plants. I'll click OK. Let's take our own camera. We can just reposition so we can see better the plants. Okay. So let's take sun. And set lights properly. Okay, set our settings and let's render and see how our tree looking. Okay, till it's rendered, let's have it first path. And you see it's dark, it's normal. Let's wait till it's second path coming through. You can see we have our custom bark, our leaves. And there's our custom trees that we just created that does not exist. You can, of course, modify, create your own trees, but this gives you an idea how you can, based on specific species, you can modify. You can take pine trees, modify based on them, palms and all this, and you can see different species, how I said normally. My collection I like to do to see all, all different type of the trees, so if I need it, I can modify it. And this tree, it will be, if you purchase tutorials, you should check inside the resources pack. This tree will be there, so you can click, analyze, and use it if you need it. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember, this on the web is www.geekatplay.com.